I'm imagining things, those potholes do get worse and worse as we get deeper and deeper into the winter season. It's just that constant freeze-thaw cycle uh, we, we do typically see quite a bit here in southern New England. So let's take a cross-section of a typical roadway. What we have on top is the pavement surface, typically asphalt. Then you get this rock base uh, on top of, of course, the ground, the soil that is natural. Water seeps in through cracks in the road, which collects underneath, softening the road base. And you see these cracks right here. Well, what initially happens is when temperatures go down below freezing, that water turns into ice and as we know ice expands forcing the pavement upwards and what you get as a result is a little bit of a frost heave kind of a bump in the roadways you do see this a lot in northern new england where these temperatures stay below freezing over where they thaw that water it subsides it says goodbye and a hole is left while you still have the frost heave on top this hole starts to cave on in and certainly happens once a tire goes on in it and of course this is a repeated process so the pothole forms where the road collapsed and the continuous traffic continues to expand the hole, making that more and more dangerous. Now, the average price for a car repair, $460 if you do hit one of these potholes. If you think Rhode Island's the worst, well, it's not. We're number 12, uh, Washington, Minnesota, as well as Michigan, some of the top uh, places for pothole problems, according to the U.S. today.